Okay, hi guys. So, uh, this one is the highly requested uh, uh, video to compare all of these grinders, including the Barista Pro built-in grinders. Next, I uh, purchased the DF64 as an upgrade for the built-in grinder. Okay. And uh, lately, I bought the Niche Zero. Okay, so maybe you're asking me why I had two separate grinder okay so all right so so DF64 uh, this is an upgrade which will stay with me with my uh, espresso machine okay and this one I'm building a new uh, coffee bar back home so they my family will also use this one and this is uh, for my use okay Let's try to uh, uh, do a retention test again, okay? Uh, before bell, uh, after grinding and uh, after uh, uh, using the bell, okay? okay so this one, 18.1. Just a little piece of water. Okay. All right. So let's um, test the speed. Let's use the uh, weigh scale time. So. Nineteen seconds. So, okay. And rain. Seventeen uh, point nine grams. Okay, so one gra uh, point one gram retention. Then we use the bellow. Okay, 18 point grams. So, uh, retention, retention test. Uh, I like it. The I, I like the niche zero better. Okay, okay so for uh, the F64. Okay, sometimes you have to. Uh, if you have not used this for a while, sometimes there there's more retention. So. But if you use it daily, it's it's fine. So I'll just see so the burn first. Okay. okay. Also, I have the dosing cup for bread, so it can also fit here. Okay, so let's start to do a test. Okay, another uh, category is, is the static issue. Okay, uh, when you're using the F64, you need to apply uh, RDT. That's uh, Especially if you are uh, fill, uh, ground uh, uh, grinding uh, coffee grounds for filter coffee for overcoat, so you need to use the RDT. But this one is minimal. I can see a small uh, static here, but it's very minimal. So this in in the static issue, this one wins. Okay. okay. 
So that's the, the reason only why I use RDT is when, when I transfer my coffee grounds to a water filter, it's cleaner, okay? So, so let's uh, for let's now test the retention for the F64. So after uh, system number, this one I, I have not used it for a while. Eighteen point eighteen grams, roughly eighteen grams. Okay. Seventeen point nine. Okay. And anyway, I forgot. We forgot to count how long is the grind so uh, we'll try another one okay okay, okay let's use uh, 18.1 drops okay, this time Okay, so so uh, it's around 20, 21 seconds actually. Uh, I start the timer when I see there's no more coffee grounds. Uh, 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 no more uh, coffee grounds uh, uh, from the shoot. Okay. Okay, this way. And the time is just uh, almost just the same thing. See, it's uh, 16.8 grams. Then let's let's do the bellow. So when I uh, I bellow, I turn it on. Okay. All right. Let's see. 18 uh, point grams, so just 0.1 uh, grams retention. So you, you just need to bellow hard for, for the DF64 so to, to get your your dosage uh, accurate. Okay? So this is the... By the way, my DF64 is version 3, so this one is not the latest one. So, uh, I think the difference is that there is a uh, plastic ring inside here that missing from the version 4. Okay, okay so then uh, about about the noise it can it produce. So the the niche is uh, obviously it's it's quiet more quiet than the DF64. Even if I turn on still fine, but uh, this one uh, you can hear something. Uh, it's more vibrating. I think because of the motor. So this one has a big motor. Let's uh, all right. Okay, let's also do the same test for Breville Barista Pro uh, built-in grinder because there are some uh, oh, uh, Breville user uh, asking me uh, if 
if they if they really need to upgrade the built-in grinder so so the thing is if you you if you're just making uh, your your daily uh, latte is uh, the barista pro uh, does the job okay if you're not picky for for your latte or espresso uh, based drink but if you into a hobby you want to explore more or when you want your your uh, special taste better then i suggest you you upgrade the Breville built-in grinder so my mistake is i bought a, a two-in-one machine so for those of you uh, i would suggest just uh, just buy Breville product but separate machine so you can upgrade your special machine or your your, your built-in grinder so if any of this uh, component is broken for example your grinder is broken so you cannot remove upgrade this one already so since all this machine needs to be sent over to the service service center so that, that's the cons but the built-in grinder it fits uh, if you have a small uh, space then this one works so so again if your want to you want to explore a more be, better tasting tasting espresso so I suggest you spend uh, a little bit more for your uh, grinder so I suggest separate grinder okay. let's uh, I have not used this one for a while so let's uh, let's also season this one I have a uh, dosing cup for bread. Here. Okay, this time I will use the porta filter to grind. Okay. Point zero. It's 21 seconds to grind. Okay, similar to DF64. Okay. Uh, 21 seconds. Also 21 seconds. Then this one 19 seconds. Okay. And let's wait. Uh, before the bellow, 16.5. That's uh, uh, 1.5 uh, grams retention. Then let's do the bellow. Uh, 17.8 so there's still uh, two gra uh, point two grams retention so let's try again to bellow hard all right you I got already the 18 uh, grams uh, 18.1 grams okay so, so you really need to bellow more for the barista pro okay okay so let's check the quality of the uh, coffee ground so let, let's start with niche uh, I show you
as you can see almost no clamps okay this the this two grinder is really a uh, fluffier so the f64 it's really clean it's fluffy no clamps almost no clamps and let's check the built-in grinder okay. yeah you can see there are more clamps so if you're using the barista pro better use the wtv okay so put to the clamp okay okay so uh, the noise is uh, pretty obvious uh, it the uh, barista pro building grind is really loud so then when I switch to DR64, it's more quiet now, so it's a better experience and the niche is the most uh, quiet of them also. I like this one for the noise. Okay. 